Merrick, how did you get started on all this? Well, at school, the physics teacher told us that uh, gravitation uh, was caused by the, uh, the, the, the inverse square law, uh, the, uh, the force uh, on, say, the tide was proportional to the square of the distance between the sun and the earth, the solar tide, and the sun and the moon of the solar tide, and the square of the distance between them. Now I thought, now that's a, a very simple thing to check out. If you knew the mass of the sun, the mass of the moon, uh, the distance of the sun and the distance of the moon, it's only a matter of radio, ratio and proportion, and you could work this out. And we know what the tides were, the, the moon, lunar tides about twice the solar tide, but when I worked the thing out, it worked out that the, the solar tide should be about 170 times the height of the lunar tide, which just didn't make sense. Uh, I, you know, I, I sort of always remembered that until later on, or much later, nearly 20 years later, I decided to try and work out what happened. And that's how I got into it in the first place. Thank you. Merrick, for the technically minded physicists who would be watching, who are really interested into the guts of your theory, would there be some elements of it that you might like to point to that are pivotal? Um, yes. Uh, the the uh, way that uh, masses have to orbit each other in ellipses uh, with their, one of their, their, each of their foci being at the centre of gravity of the two masses and remain at the centre of gravity as they go round. This was demonstrated in the, uh, in the uh, work to be the reason why uh, planets, atoms and everything else can continue orbiting each other in, 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 the, in a bonded fashion uh, and maintain their total rotational energy constant. It is, in my opinion, a basic fundamental discovery. Thank you. Merrick. We're publishing this discovery throughout the world through the internet. People will weigh it up and ponder the weight of the discovery. In closing, uh, or to add to the information, the theory, what would you add as a final statement? Take it and run with it.